Okay, here we go again. This way, you can watch this on, everybody in here can watch this online. We are at the ordinary, regular University of Mobile library page. I'm going to click on electronic databases under research. Now, I have to select a subject. So, what is our subject? Literature. Literature. That just helps you find something quickly. You scroll down. We're going to go to MLA International Bibliography EBSCO. That's the easiest one to go to. And it's got the best stuff. Now, we turn off Boolean phrase by clicking on find all my search terms. Find all my search terms. We don't want Boolean slash phrase because then it's going to have it's finding only exactly what you've done, what you've typed in. Find all my search terms. And to make life easy for you, because this is due in two days, click on linked full text. Now, let's try Lake. We're going to try tiger, and I'll go ahead and throw in the lamb. We'll see how many we find, okay? Click on search. I've typed it up here in the window box, whatever you call that thing, I'm old. Blake, tiger, lamb. I don't know if it's going to find a lot or a little, but we'll see. Okay, we have five results. Okay, listen carefully. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, there are five, five things that work, five things that it found. It found five whole articles, okay? Five whole articles. Some of these may be irrelevant. However, James Hervey's influence on Blake's Tiger of Experience is in Notes and Queries. You'll notice that and, and by the way, if you're freaking out about how to do the MLA citation, is it's provided. Pardon? Sometimes it's provided. Sometimes it's provided, exactly. And I'm thinking sometimes. Oh, 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 oh. Pardon? <laughs> what? Sorry, I said what? Well, okay. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna click on full PDF, full text. Okay? Now You'll notice it starts over here. How long is it? I happen to notice it said page 414 to 416. So how many pages is it? Two. Two. Now most sources you want to be more than two pages because you're going to need to use them eventually, maybe. But you've got a two-page article that's easy to read. It counts as a source. Okay. So even if, okay, it's about Blake's Tiger. Now, if you're comparing the tiger to the lamb, it's still okay. You may think this is a total flake. The guy that's writing this, and it's totally wrong. That's okay, too. James Herpy, a famous Methodist minister of the period, decisively influenced the imagery of the tiger, blah, 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 composed then. Um, skipping down, you might also look at their footnotes that are kind of interesting there, maybe. Then you've got... Observed, Blake frequently alluded to Herbie's various works. The Tiger, a poem of sublime wonder that contemplates stellar forces. What is all this? Forest of the night. Blake inquires, what immortal hand or eye, blah, blah, blah. Now, um, you've got, you know, he's just talking about maybe this minister, maybe this minister influenced Blake. You don't want to write your whole paper on how, an, how one minister influenced Blake, maybe. I don't know, maybe you do. But, but that's okay. You may still be able to find something in this article that will help you understand the tiger. So you can print this out. You can print this article out by scrolling, where, what am I doing? Okay, up here at the top, there's the little way up there, way up here at the top. You can click on the printer thingy and it will print out of your computer at home. Or if you're in the library, you can print it there. Or you could just read it here, but I would recommend that you print it out and keep it. Keep the article, because uh, it'll help you. Okay, we're gonna go back. That was one source. Now, science fiction as creative revisionism, the example of, what in the world is that? Let's find 
find out what that's about. Science fiction as creative revisionism and I don't know, do you really, are you interested in how science fiction used Blake? No. Not no. really? And, and some people would love it. They may want to write about it. Some people may not. So let's assume that this one doesn't work. That's fine. Um, you could say, forget this. I don't want to pay attention to that. So let's pretend that, okay, now we only have four sources that are available here. Let's go back and see if we can find something. We want more about the lamb. How about that? Let's see what we find there. No results were found for Blake and the lamb? Ah, okay. Do you remember that there were, the, the tiger came from songs of experience, the lamb came from songs of innocence. innocence. Let's try songs of innocence. Search. Oh, wow. The anxiety of innocence in Blake and Kierkegaard. Um, Blake's anti-slavery <coughs> designs for songs of innocence and experience. The piping down the valleys. Well, you, you could find all sorts of things here, okay? And some of it may help, some of it may not. But that's why you're doing this research now, is to start looking and seeing what articles, um, why didn't, who didn't kill Blake's fly, moral law, and the rule of grammar in songs of experience. I don't know. Um, you could, you could find the Blakean vision of George Lucas, okay, uh, lots of sci-fi stuff. Maybe you could do a whole paper on sci-fi and William Blake, you know, because isn't George Lucas like Star Wars? Yeah, it is. Okay, okay, so see, you could actually, that actually could become a paper. Mm -hmm. I had never thought of that, but now that we've got two sources about it, it might be interesting. Who knows? But that's the purpose of doing the research now, okay? The purpose of doing the research now is to get you thinking about these questions and suddenly, wow, we found two sources on sci-fi and Blake, so maybe somebody would want to do that as a paper. I don't know. It gives you ideas and that way two days before the research paper is due, you aren't going, there is nothing on B-52 bombers and Blake. You know, you really wanted to write about airplanes and Blake and, and now you found there are none and it's two days before your paper's due, and you're going, what do I do now? You have that crisis now, <laughs> rather than right before the research paper is due. This way you find some other stuff. It doesn't all have to relate to your final thesis, okay? You might do those two on science fiction, and then do two on, I don't know, um, civil rights in Blake, or something like that, you know, equality or whatever, care for the poor in Blake, something like that. Okay. You do not have to have your thesis solidified at this point. You do need to find five sources, say, on the lamb and the tiger or whatever it is that you're on candy, five sources on candy. They don't all have to agree. Some of them may be totally new ideas to you. That's okay. And the research paper isn't due right now. The reason, don't worry about the research paper. 